Well, today we're making bannock bread. And in here, I've got two cups of flour. I've got a tablespoon of baking powder. I've got a little salt. I think it was a half a teaspoon of salt. Uh, some sugar and some cinnamon. And in here, I've got, this is uh, one and a half cups total with uh, whole milk and one egg. And uh, actually, no, I'll put the sugar in here. Not in here. So we'll put it in the bag. We'll pour it all in the pot because it needs to be kind of sticky. Up. Once we get it mixed up, we'll set it in our Dutch oven here. And we'll let it rise for about 20 minutes. We've got our coals going down here. We'll put the bread on. We're going to put our baked potatoes in the fire. When the baked potatoes are about done, the bread's about done, we're going to cook some ribeye steaks. Okay, we've got it mixed up, the bannock bread. We're going to put a little canola oil in our cast iron Dutch oven. Probably about two tablespoons at the bottom. Squeeze it down. Once we get it in the pan, then I'll kind of form it into a, uh, a ball here. Okay. Now what we'll do is we'll, we'll move it around on the oil, the motor oil. Let that rise for about uh, 20 minutes, and we'll be back with you then. Okay, it's actually been about 30 minutes, and uh, it's risen up a little bit, so we're going to put it on the fire. Okay, should be done. Oh yes, that good crust. We're gonna, I've moved it off the fire. We're gonna let the heat stay in there to continue cooking the inside since we've got our good brown crust. And uh, we'll finish our baked potatoes. And I'll have to say anything else. Mm-hmm.